Hello, dear Exodus users. My name is Josh. I'm a community support engineer here at Exodus, and today I'm going to be walking you guys through the process of installing Exodus on a Linux machine. Now, this particular computer is running Ubuntu Mate 16.04, so this guide should work just fine for all Ubuntu-based flavors or Debian-based uh, Linux installs. If you are running something like Red Hat or CentOS, some of these commands might be a little bit different, but generally the guide should work just fine for you. So the first step here is actually not to download and install Exodus, it is to make sure that all of our packages and dependencies are up to date. Uh, you can find this little icon, something that looks like this, either in your sidebar, on your desktop, or in your start menu somewhere. The easiest way to access this, uh, the terminal, is to hit Control alt t on your keyboard. That macro should bring up this window. And all we're doing here is, uh, again, updating those dependencies, uh, and making sure that all of your software is up to date before installing Exodus. This is a good idea just to do generally on a regular basis anyways to keep to keep your uh, your Linux install running smoothly and securely. Uh, so you're just going to go ahead and type in sudo apt git update and and ampersand signs sudo apt git apt hyphen git upgrade and hit enter. It's going to prompt you for your password. Just go ahead and enter that and it will automatically start to check all of these uh, these repositories for updates. Now, my computer is uh, is uh, completely up to date here. Uh, yours might not be, so this this screen might look a tad bit different. But once this procedure is done, you can proceed. Uh, at, at this point, you're going to want to head over to your browser. I already have this one open. Just make sure that you're visiting our official website, exodus.io. Make sure that the uh, SSL cert here is verified and everything's looking good. We don't want anyone falling victim to phishing links or uh, malicious downloads of any sort, so that's always good to check. Just go ahead and click on the download link after you've done that. That's going to take you to our releases page, at which point you can download the, the Linux version of our wallet. To save us a little time, I actually already have that downloaded for us. So you can just go ahead and open your file manager, navigate to your downloads folder, and you'll see a zip file right here. Now if you are handy with the terminal, of course, you can, or the command line interface, you can feel free to unzip this file uh, that way. Personally, I think the easiest way is just through the graphical user interface. Again, depending on your version of Linux or the distribution that you're running, your package manager might not be the same as mine. But th this should all be, you know, fairly, fairly uniform across all platforms. Uh, all we're doing here is we're extracting this folder somewhere to our computer. Personally, I like to keep it in my home folder, but you can put it wherever you like. So just go ahead and drag and drop that over, and that's going to extract Exodus. Once that is done, you'll have this folder here. Uh, you can just double click on that. You'll see this Exodus icon right here, and you can click on that, and uh, Exodus should launch right up. Ooh, here we go. We're in version 1.43.4 at the time of making this video. Of course, you can also launch Exodus directly from the terminal. Uh, we'll hit a Control alt t yet again. You have to uh, move into the Exodus directory, so cd change directory, Exodus Linux 64, and then you can run it directly from the command line, just like so. And... pops right back up again. Easy as that. Simple stuff, guys. I hope this guide helped. Oh, if you do happen to run into any trouble during this procedure, there's a particular package or library that might be missing from your machine. So I'm going to walk you through real quick how to grab that. Um, it's uh, called libgconf uh, is the name of the package. Newer distributions of Ubuntu do have this um, package included. But Exodus requires one that's slightly older, so you have to you have to download and install this uh, manually. So you're just going to go ahead and type sudo apt git install libgconf-2-4, and that is going to grab the right version for you. Again, it'll ask you for your password, and of course, I already have libgconf-2.4 installed, which is why Exodus popped up right away. But if your Exodus uh, install fails to launch, that is definitely the first thing you should try. Of course, if you run into any trouble with this process at all, please drop us a line at support at exodus.io, and we will be happy to look into your issue further. Thank you for watching, and I hope this was of value to you.